I'm Noel Goddard. I'm a principal with the Accelerate New York Seed Fund. We are a regional technology commercialization effort of New York State. Right now, if you start talking about what are large energy storage uh, technologies for grid-based storage or residential storage, we often think of lithium because at this point, lithium ions in our cars, it's in our computers, it's in all of our other types of electronics. Vanadium redox batteries are not so common right now, however there are a number of worldwide installations of them at the grid scale. The reason that we haven't seen them in smaller scale installations is because the technology hasn't been invented in order to get the cost per kilowatt hour down to a range where they could compete effectively with lithium ion batteries. And what Storin has done through four different patents and others to come is to actually take this known technology, which was very good and very efficient at these large scales, and be able to reduce it to a small footprint so that it's now good for commercial, small commercial, and residential and telecom applications. At present, Storin actually is competitive in cost uh, for the capacity of batteries which they're, they're building now to the Tesla Powerwall, which some people may be familiar with, uh, for residential applications. Uh, we see that as one of their uh, great rollout spaces because, number one, the batteries have significantly longer lifetime. Uh, one of the other proprietary pieces of technology which Storin has been developing is a geothermal way to cool the batteries, which, again, adds for more energy efficiency. Vanadium technology in general also has some advantages when it comes to being able to uh, store at subcapacity from renewables. Uh, which, as we all know, depending on whether the sun is out or not, your solar uh, batteries may be under load or not under load. Um, and they have significantly longer uh, discharge time, which makes them good for long-term sustainability uh, discharge of batteries for residential or commercial applications. We're very excited because uh, Storan has reached the transition point of where they've actually been able to build all of their proposed technologies into their first prototype which currently is undergoing a performance testing at the Advanced Energy Research Center at Stony Brook University, where we're, we are here today. Uh, they're also clients of the Clean Energy Business Incubator Program, also at Stony Brook University. Uh, both programs have helped Storin to actually realize the, not only the testing their device, but also to reach out to investors like ourselves through the connections which we all have uh, through the New York State area in order to fund the build out, uh, which was also supported by the, the Start Engine campaign. The next phase of Storin's uh, development will be taking the prototype and actually starting to manufacture small batch production in order that it uh, be distributed to their first adoptees and clients. Um, as is, the Storin prototype is probably very similar to what the, the first minimal viable product and batch manufacturing will be for the, uh, the device itself. Uh, the way Storin has engineered the battery is to be easily translated over into uh, manufacturing by contract manufacturers across the globe. And uh, they've arranged with a vanadium supplier to actually take the, the most valuable piece of the battery, which is the electrolyte itself, and have fixed pricing for 10 years to come.